Some people with disabilities are back in their high rise apartments tonight after being stranded for more than a day. No elevators were working, and 22 News went to the building's owners to get answers. They had an interesting response to our investigation. Who's going to carry you up the stairs? Who's going to hold your baby? Who's going to help you with your groceries? Nobody. 22 News first learned on Wednesday that the only two elevators inside the Chestnut Tower apartments weren't working. And we found residents with disabilities trapped with no way in or out of the 17 story building. She lives on the 12th floor. She has total knee replacement. Come on. Repair crews went to work Thursday after our story aired Wednesday night. Late Thursday afternoon, one elevator had been repaired. But this cell phone video shows there's still no certification documenting a valid inspection. The other elevator hasn't been operational for months. Tenants told 22 News they break down all the time and they're scared. Particularly in case of emergency, you can't get in and out of here. Uh, that creates a lot of anxiety. Usually, even if they get both working, in a matter of a week or so, the one is back down again. The building department told 22 News a complaint had been filed and there will be another inspection Friday. Springfield's Deputy Director of Code Enforcement, David Cotter, told 22 News that it is believed to be a short-term problem. It's been on and off, on and off. You know, we've been without the, the second elevator for more than a couple of months. In the elevator that is working, duct tape holds up the lights that are dripping liquid. The on-site property manager was not here Thursday afternoon and has not returned our phone calls, but other employees did refer us to the corporate company that owns and operates this building. What they had to say might surprise you. Woburn based Dolben Management owns Chestnut Tower Apartments. The woman who answered the phone would not answer any of our questions. She actually refused to give 22 News her name and would not connect us with the company manager. And 22 News will continue to follow the story for you and bring you any new information as soon as we have it.